Kia ora everyone, welcome into Sky Rugby Club. This week though, this week though, we're not talking any rugby. NBA season is here, pre-season at the moment, the season starts very, very soon. And well, someone that thinks he's a bit of a b-baller, a bit of a baller in the backyard. Well, I must say, he's not bad. He was the first person that came to mind when it came to NBA. It is Julian Savia. How are you, Jules? Hey, something awesome. Good, brother. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Good. Thanks. How's the body, mate? I know you're, you've been stuck in Auckland. You're heading back to, to Wellies. You just got back there today, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I got, I got back uh, yesterday. So, um, got into training. Uh, I just did some contact prep today. So, getting the body ready. Nice, mate. Well, we've seen all through Instagram how fit you are, mate. I'm just really <laughs> envious. But you're looking, you're looking sharp, ready for another season. But anyway, we're here for some people. Here for the people yeah. and someone that's very passionate about basketball is yourself. Um, mate, what are you looking forward to? Who's your team? Who are you supporting? And who are the big movers in the off season? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just looking forward to the season just because uh, the old... Uh, washed up team the lakers but my my team is 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 the clippers uh very unfortunate because Kawhi is injured uh till sort of end of feb um and uh just really looking forward to seeing how all the teams come together really eh? uh it's going to be interesting because uh, i'm happy for giannis they won it last year yeah um, um joker is you know winning the mvp so uh, it will be interesting because our, our, our group of boys uh, have started an NBA fantasy, so uh, we've got some right. money put, put on the So we're taking that seriously, so we'll see how that goes. Well, so who will your first pick be? If you get number one pick, who are you going for? Well, I did get number one pick, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, and I picked uh, the Joker, Nikola Jocic. Okay. What, yeah. What's your reasoning? Tell yeah. us about fantasy, because I've played fantasy once before as well. It's not just <clears> the scorers. <throat> you need guys that can do steals, rebounds, and he's that guy, isn't he? Yeah, so the, our one's um, like total points, so what, what they can produce individually. So Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why I went for Joker, because he can do it all. He can pass, rebound, block, shoot. Um, yeah, and uh, pretty good, uh, I've got a pretty good team, so... I'll name my starting five, should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I got at the point guard, I got Ja Morant. Uh, yeah. Pretty hissing second year into the season. So uh, yeah, he'll, be, he'll be going he's good. good. He was good for me last year, Ja Morant. Man, he is outstanding. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, shooting guard, I've got uh, Karis LeVert. He got injured a little bit. Almost a uh, career ending, actually. Uh, yeah. But he's he's back and he's um, he's going to be hissing for the, for the Pacers. Uh, at small forward, I got Chris Middleton. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just think he's gonna be. Oh, well, well, I wasn't able to get uh, Janice and Joker, so Chris Middleton is gonna be awesome for me, I reckon. Um, and I got Julius Randall from New York Knicks. Bro, he was so good for me last year. Honestly, I had him. Yeah. He was off the hook. That's a good get. So it'll be it'll be interesting how he goes this year, but I hope he goes yep. really well. And then obviously my number one pick at centre, uh, the Joker. So that's nice. my starting five. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's, uh, the reserves are quite important as well. So good luck. Good luck with that, Julian. Awesome, mate. And, yeah. and go back to the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. You think they got the team to to get it done? I know they've had talent in the past, but they've always just fell short on that last hurdle, eh? Yeah, yeah. The, the... I'd say they'll always they've always choked at the moment. So <laughs> my poor team, uh, you know, just can't get it done. And uh, but you know, I'm glad they're sticking together. Him, uh, Kawhi and Paul. Um, I think Eric Bledsoe is a good uh, addition to their team. Brings a lot of defense. Can shoot from the wing. wing. And um, and Reggie Jackson's had a big season last year. So hopefully yeah. uh, he he'll go good this year. What about the Lakers? Where the Lakers are uh, picking up Russell Westbrook in the off season, Anthony uh, Davis. He's had a, apparently a big season in the gym. He's come back strong and fit. Do you reckon they can go all the way, or are they just an old, oh, old, they, old, uh, old team? 
Oh, they are going to be labeled as the old team. Um, but obviously, you know, the narrative always changes about, you know, when it's LeBron James involved. Yeah. Um, they were, you know, right at the start, they'll be called the old team, washed up team. And then once they start winning, it's going to be, you know, like it's an unfair team and they got all the best players and blah, blah, blah. So um, that's how I see it going anyway. So. What what about when I used to play in two K, bro? And I'd always post up with the White Howard. You remember that? And I schooled you and uh, and <laughs> camp. Remember those days? Two K. Come on, man. Should, should we phone up, mate? Me. Uh, CJ, man. <laughs> Me and the late Kobe, bro. Posted all... up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't rely on Dwight. I'm oh, not on two K yeah. anyway. Nah, nah. Hard to see it, bro. Um, I have to ask you about Golden State. Like Golden State, they, they had a lot of injuries with Clay, um, John Dre Green, uh, Draymond, Draymond Green, I should say, um, and then they got Stephen Curry. Do you think they could get back to where the, the heights that they were at with, with the squad they've, they've yeah. got in there? Right now? Uh, I think so, uh, especially with Clay coming back. And I, I think they're one of the teams that's going to be slipped on. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, once, it, once he's back and they're able to run. And the reason why they're dangerous is because they don't just sit still and, uh, you know, just sit in the three-point line. They run around, hard to defend, hard to catch, and, you know, hard to keep up. So, and with Draymond, he's such a, um, he's got such good IQ in, around the defense area um, and being able to, like, screen for Steph and Clay. Mm -hmm. um, and also, they, they brought back uh, Andre Gadala. So, they're getting the old team back together. We'll see how they go. Eggy, Eggy. But I have to, we just have to quickly touch on um, Kyrie Irving and, and Katie. I know there's a bit of a thing going around now. Kyrie's avoiding the vaccination, so he might be avoiding the <laughs> contract. So that, I think it was about a half a million, half a million bucks a game he was getting. Well, we, but anyway. Uh, but KD, good to see KD back after, you know, a big layoff with injury. Ah, oh, he's. Probably going to be, uh, yeah. He he probably definitely be in the final somewhere. Um, Do you reckon he could carry that after. team? You reckon he could carry that team to the to the finals? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, if if they all stay injury free, then they're definitely getting to the finals. I don't know about him doing it by himself. Um, but I'm I'm glad because one of the reasons my team was the Clippers was Blake Griffin and. Uh, I was quite disappointed when he moved to Detroit, Detroit and his, uh, his stats sort of just crumbled. But then being able to see him dunk again and, <laughs> you know, play around with the Nets, uh, he was, that man was uh, was lying, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ain't got sore knees, no sore patellas there. Um, <laughs> wow, wee. All right, bro. Look, heart aside, put your, head, your heart aside, you know, you're a Clippers man. Come playoffs, come finals. Who do you see being there in the end? Uh, <clears throat> if, yeah, I, I see from the east, I see the Nets being there. Yeah, yeah. And from the west, I see uh, probably the Lakers. Ooh, okay, okay. Nets v Lakers come finals. KD yeah. versus LeBron. How good would that matchup be? Now, nah, awesome, bro. Um, thanks so much for joining us. Julian Savier, not just only a rugby player, he's actually an expert in NBA. He's a Clippers fan. NBA season starts very soon on ESPN. Go the Lakers.